Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is uh, March 8th. We are going to take a look at uh, Palantir stock. But first, I am not a financial advisor. I do this for fun and to make my own money, to make money. Uh, please do your own research and make your own decisions, please. So uh, let's look at uh, Palantir. So what did Palantir do today? Okay, so uh, right off the bat, uh, if we take a look at the triangle that we had here, we had the triangle and Palantir was uh, within that triangle. It has been within that triangle for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days approximately. So it was really respecting that. It was a symmetrical triangle, so meaning that there were no really direction that we could know in advance where the stock would be heading. Uh, we had a little surprise on Friday, last Friday, when the stock went down quite a bit, but recovered during the day and stayed within that triangle. But now today, it just broke the triangle. So um, it broke the triangle and then went and uh, touched the support that we had at 22.24. And this is a really important support. If you look in the past, it touched that support on uh, Jan on November 24th, also on December 2nd, also on January 4th. So this is a support that is really respected by the stock. So, so far it has broken our triangle. So this is kind of a downtrend signal, but at the same time, it has respected the support, the horizontal support. So the horizontal support is a more important support because uh, it lasted for a long period of time. And the triangle uh, pattern is a very short pattern. So uh, it does not yield the same the same amount of importance, if I can express it that way. So uh, not all is lost with, with, with Palantir. It's still above the support, but I got to tell you, I don't like to see a candle like this because um, there's a wick above the candle, the body of the candle, which is red. There's a wick above and there's no wick below. So it means that the stock during the day tried to go higher but got rejected and was sent back down. It's a red triangle. It's a red rectangle. So this means that uh, this is this is kind of a mini downtrend within the day. And on top of that, there's there's a wick above, meaning that it tried to go above and but finished just low in the basement. So um, I don't know if uh, Palantir will hold this support. We'll have to take a look at it tomorrow. If I take a look at the close, uh, we closed at 22.52, down 143 for uh, close to 6% down. So this is quite significant. Post-market, it's pretty much uh, even, Stephen, uh, at 22.57. In terms of the indicators, uh, Stochastic last Friday tried to touch the 20%. So I was kind of hopeful that maybe Palantir is starting its way up. But now it's uh, it's down again to close to 12%. MACD, MACD is shrinking. The two lines are shrinking. So, so this is an indication that things are starting maybe to think about moving in an other direction. We'll see. But the DMI, the DMI, the red line is uh, above the green line even more so since last Friday. So, um, so I don't know what's going to happen. I think, I still think that the right time to buy Palantir is when we are going to cross this, um, downward trend line once we cross this uh then we are going to start thinking about buying the stock but not before you could buy it before if you 
are not afraid of risk, you can buy Palantir right now. The price is very low at 22 uh, 52. You can buy it right now. There are no signals that are telling us that it is going to resume an uptrend. There are no signals to tell us that, but you can you can play the casino and buy it right now. And you might be right or you might be wrong. What I am trying to do is enter in a stock when I have a high probability of the stock going in the direction I want it to go. Most of the time I'm buying stocks because I want the stock to go up, but sometimes I'm buying put options when I want the stock to go down. But I always look for, for high probability entries. And this is not right now a high probability entry. It can still be a great entry if you are lucky and the stock goes up in a week or two that's possible so 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 you have to judge by yourself what kind of level of risk that you want to do it's it's perfectly okay to buy uh, a stock when it touches a support it does not mean that it's going to go above that support for any significant amount of time but it's still it's still um it's still a valid way of trading the market. There are so many ways to make money in the stock market that uh, that you need to find your own level of acceptable risk and, a, and acceptable reward. So uh, with that being said, uh, that will conclude today's uh, video. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please uh, let me know in your comments. If you own Palantir, if you want to buy it, what do you think about the company? I think it's going to be a great company to own in the future. So uh, let me know in the comments and uh, I wish you a great evening and we are going to talk uh, tomorrow. Bye-bye.